Good afternoon, y'all. It's a great Sunday. Uh, I'm just going to come out and just let everybody know. Um, me and BLK Prime have decided to part ways. Um, there's no bad blood. Uh, you know, they just couldn't deliver, you know, um, everything that I needed, you know, at this point in my career, you know, and, um, you know, right now, uh, I'm in tip top shape. I, I got myself in shape. Uh, I, I dropped all my vices, uh. I'm not clubbing. I'm not drinking. Uh, I'm ready to fight. So uh, hit me up, man. Hit me up. A, be a free agent, man. Let's do this. Like I said, man, I'm ready to fight today. Anybody. Anybody can get it. The can man is back. As y'all can see, A, B, the can man, Adrian Brunner, chunk the deuce to BLK Prime. Y'all see, he said... They couldn't produce what they promised. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't come through and produce what they promised. Now, for those who don't know, they promised AB a three-fight deal, $12 million. That means that they promised him $4 million a fight. And before we heard him say that they told him he could pick anybody he wanted to fight. They didn't care. He says, man, this is like a dream. I can pick anybody you know what I'm saying? I could go over to Tijuana. I could go to France. I could go anywhere and pick any Rudy Poot opponent that, you know, any Rudy Poot opponent that I want to get in the ring with, and they going to pay me $4 million a fight. AB told y'all, man, hey, ain't nobody else in boxing doing nothing like this. I'm rocking with BLK Prime. Well, we see how that turned out. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we see how that turned out. They was promising all type of things, and they didn't come through with it. They even lied and said that they paid Terrence Crawford 10 mil, 10 milli to fight David I've been sneezing, and we found out that was a lie too. You know what I'm saying? But what wasn't a lie is that BLK Prime had over 12 bankruptcies. See, these fighters... They should have known right off the rip that BLK Prime wasn't going to come through like they said they was going to come through. Now, when it comes to the David I've been sneezing and Terrence Crawford fight production, they had some good fight production. You know what I'm talking about? The card was horrible all around, but the fight production, the commentary and everything, it was solid. You know what I'm talking about? It was A1. So I'm not going to hate on that. I'm going to give them their props for that. But after that, you know what I'm saying? All the money that they spent putting into that event to try to make it look like that they were some top-notch, A-quality, you know, boxing promotional company or company or whatnot. <laughs> hey, it don't look like they could produce after that. And I told people, I said, if they putting out all of this money, they not going to be in the game for too long. And now that AB didn't left, what they going to do? They ain't got nobody else on the roster. What are they going to do? You know what I'm saying? And it's more news to come out because AB ain't the only one that got something to say about BLK Prime. I'm not going to break the news. I'm going to let somebody else break the news because there's some more news that's going to come out. So y'all just stick around this week. And remember, I'm telling y'all, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But as far as Adrian Broner, this ain't a good look on AB because he bashed the PBC. He bashed Al Heyman, although he said him and Al Heyman still got a good relationship. He went out and he said some things about um, Al Heyman. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of things about Al Heyman in a lot of different interviews. But recently, Adrian Brunner also came out and he says, you know, when I said that Al Heyman hadn't paid me no check in six fights, he said people must misunderstood what I was saying. I wasn't saying that he hadn't paid me and paid me all my money. So now he's trying to backtrack on what he said. Well, he should have clarified that in those interviews when he was talking about Al Heyman. And we all know he was on some ha 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 ha. I don't need y'all no more. I got BLK Prime. But Adrian Broner, he didn't think things through himself. He seen that 12 million that he thought he was going to get for three fights. And he just started running off at the mouth. And I told y'all before in the previous video that I did, I said, 
this is gonna come back to bite A, B in his ass. I said, you never bite the hand that feeds you. And that's exactly what AB did. You know what I'm talking about? Now, I do wish the best for Adrian Brunner. But now he not going to be able to go back over there to Steven Espinosa and Al Heyman and them at the PBC. He talked too bad about him. And not only did he talk bad about him, you know what I'm saying? Saying they tried to give him a pay-per-view fight after he pulled out the fight with Omar Figueroa. He wouldn't even respond to their offer. So, it ain't no turning back for A.B., you know what I'm talking about? Now, remember what he said to Eddie Hearn in the past. Eddie Hearn tried to offer him a contract, and he told Eddie Hearn to suck his you-know-what. So, he can't go to match room. So, who gonna sign him? He can't go to Oscar De La Hoya. He didn't talk bad about Oscar De La Hoya in the past, and we all know that Oscar, he don't promote black fighters anyway. So, what is A.B. gonna do? And like I said, this ain't me hating on AB or trying to knock him down, but I'm just telling the truth. This is just what it is, man. You can't bite the hand that feeds you. You always have to leave the door open for good business. In the way that he exit, in the way that he made his exit from the PBC, he made it so he can't come back. You was doing interview after interview talking bad about him. Talking about, you know, insinuating that they don't pay their fighters and you got to wait all type of time to get your money and this, this and that. Insinuating that Al Heyman still owe you all type of money when you just blew through the money. You know what I'm talking about? You had dudes on your Instagram posting stories saying, man, we was blowing through 30,000 a night, man. We was effing up the club every night. We was blowing 30,000. We was having a money fight in the club every night, huh, A.B.? You know what I'm saying? And you posted this on your Instagram confirming it. So when you talk about, well, Al Heyman was sending me 10,000, 7,000, 5,000, then it went to 2,500, to five, and so on and so on. You was blowing through the money, man. When you drunk like that every single night passing out, you don't know how much money you spending. And then he, you get up the next day and then he wiring you another 10,000. That stuff add up, A.B., but, you know, that's his money. It is what it is, but you can't come out claiming that he owe you money. And now, like I said, I wish the best for A.B., but what are you going to do now? What is Adrian Brunner going to do now that BLK Prime didn't come through with all them promises that they told him? And I knew they wouldn't. It ain't no way they were going to pay him no $4 million to fight just anybody he wanted to fight. It sounded good. But like Adrian Bronner said, you know, when Blue Blood was interviewing him, he was like, man, A.B., tell him how that BLK Prime bag is. And A.B. looked at that nigga and said, I can't tell him nothing. I ain't got paid no money from him yet. Hey, Blue, wasn't, he wasn't expecting to hear that. And I can't lie, man. I was dying laughing when he said that. He like, I can't tell him nothing. I ain't got paid nothing. But yeah. He didn't end up getting paid a penny from BLK Prime. And y'all remember in the beginning, they tried to pretend like, oh, AB, you know what I'm saying? He already getting paid up front. He getting paid up front. So, yeah, he already know how much money he getting BLK Prime this and BLK Prime that. They paying fighters up front before they even get in the ring, which was all a lie. You know what I'm talking about? You tell a lie long enough and continue to stick with it, the truth is going to come out. And the truth is coming out on BLK Prime. You know what I'm talking about? They came in the game real fast and they leaving out as faster than they came in. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. I wish AB nothing but the best of luck. I hope somebody do pick him up. And I hope he do get back in the ring. Because that man that worked hard, he didn't got in shape. And he deserved to at least have a chance to get back in the ring and show what he could do. If he can do anything. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. Like the video, you know, drop a comment in the comment section. And y'all already know how I do. Dango talking that boxing again. And I'm gone.